Let's find out what you can get with 24,000 FIFA points. Here we go, this is our first pack of the day and it's absolutely terrible. Well, let's hope um, that this is not all that it has in store for us. This could be something good. It's French? Come on. No! <laughs> I mean, it's still not too bad. I mean, especially the first pack, it was absolutely terrible. So I'll do with like a Monaco player. He's French. He's probably going to be like around 2k maybe, max. Alright, who do we have here? It's Albanian. Bear. Barely anything. You know what? I actually like the opening animation this year. I feel like I still cannot tell what what is. Let's see. Oh, German. Are we playing with Ram? No, it's Hosen's. They've done him dirty. What is that picture? Oh, that is bad. I feel bad for the guy. Imagine he has to show like his family and stuff that he has a card on FIFA, and he has to show him that. That's horrible. I'm so sorry, Robin. And up until now, I feel like the uh, gameplay is actually a bit incomplete. Is that a team of Louis? No. What is this? Oh, Jesus Christ! I, why do they make it like that? It looks so much like more like a special card than like a uh, Libertadores card. That's weird. Anyways, as I was saying, I feel like the um, like the gameplay it's still a bit inconsistent in um, in like rivals and stuff. Because when you pass a ball, it just doesn't really pass it to the person you want to pass to. And then whenever you shoot, it's either a very strange shot that still goes like in the top bins, or it's a shot that just doesn't hit and just, I mean, goes flying over, but like not just a little bit, it's like far over. Let's see the next pack. It's Spanish. Well, that's not too bad, David Silva. He's quite good. Well, not really usable, but <laughs> I mean, he used to be quite good. Also, not really in FIFA, to be fair, but in real life. I have to be honest with you guys. So far, the packs haven't been exactly too good. I mean, we've had a couple of 83s and 82s, but this seems high. Ooh, it's Trent. Oh, that's actually good. I think he has a pretty good price range as well. I think it's not like... Here, let's see. That is good. At least if he sells, because it seems like everybody's listing him for that price. But if he sells, we're actually uh, we're actually in a really good position. So let's hope he does. What do we have here? It's a rare. He's Italian. Ooh, Locatelli. I mean, it's not too good, but it does sell, I think. And especially in SBCs, it's uh, it's quite decent. It's not too bad. And Oliver Skip. I don't get how he's that high rated. Like, Enkedia, like, from uh, from Arsenal, I'm an Arsenal fan, some of you might know, but how is he not even a gold, but people like Skip are, it's, it's insane, it doesn't make sense. Who's this? Not usable, that's what he is. You know what, I kind of want to see, like, a special card or something, or, like, anything higher than 85. This seems good. Oh, Fabian, I mean, still, not too good, not too good. There's a lot more players that are actually a lot more helpful, but I mean, I, I guess he sells for a little bit. I mean, he's from PSG, he's Spanish, so I think it uh, it will do for now. Let's hope to get at least some higher players, though, because this is getting insane. Here, another rare. He's Swiss. Is that... Ooh, it's two 83s in a row. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't think he goes for two. Hey, there's another one. Let's go. Also, as you might know, I don't think I've uploaded a gaming video since about 2016, 2015 maybe. So it's been quite a while since... What's this? Oh, not too good. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite a while since um, I've last uploaded a gaming video. Um, especially FIFA, FIFA. Especially FIFA. I think um, the last time I actually uploaded a FIFA video was maybe FIFA 15, something like that. So, oh, let's go and inform. Who's this? It's Hoffman. Nice. I don't think he sells for too much. And I'm not sure why he has the star. I'm pretty sure that Traore had the, um, like the, the, what's it called? The featured team of the week, I think. So, oh, Lacazette as well. Two, 281 uh, 
non-rares, that's not too bad. But yeah, like I was saying, I think it's been quite a while since I last uploaded a gaming video, but I have found some new inspiration to actually come back to gaming, I guess. Um, also in terms of videos, like I've been, I've been using like games as a hobby for, I don't know how long, it's been quite a while. Um, <laughs> But it's been a while since I've uh, actually planned on uploading anything, so I guess we're sort of back. You can expect more if you'd like. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you uh, want to see some more FIFA, if you want to see me collab with some other YouTubers maybe, since I've not done that since like I think the Minecraft days even. So yeah, you should let me know. Another rare. Oh, he's Dutch. A Cam Berghuis? Yes! I mean, he's turned out to be quite a player since uh, since moving to uh, Ajax. I mean, at Fire he was very good as well, he was carrying the team, but still, he made another huge step forward, also in terms of his playing style and the positions that he's playing in. So I think he turned out as a uh, very good player. Who's this? Zaniolo. That's a very good card. That's a very good card, like, really. I expect him to be, like, quite expensive. Maybe he plays in some different... No. If he played central mid or cam or something, that would have been insane. Unfortunately, he doesn't. So, that's insane. I'm sorry. Okay. So, we're quite a few thousand FIFA points through. And we still haven't really gotten anything good. I mean, we keep on getting rares. And he's Swedish. No. Yeah. Forsberg. I mean, that's not too bad, I guess, but we haven't really gotten anyone that's like amazing or very expensive. I mean, yesterday, um, like off camera, I actually packed Nkunku, so I'm very happy about that, especially since his uh, price range updated in the meantime. I think it's currently like 350k as a max price, so that's not too bad. But yeah, it's it's still not what you'd expect. I mean, of course, that's a very... Ooh. It's another inform. He's Portuguese. Who is this? Balinha. I actually had him in my uh, fantasy squad in uh, like the on the Premier League app. There's like a fantasy league, um, and I actually had him in there. He needed quite a few points, so that's a nice pull. Another inform. But yeah, like I said, Nkunku is actually very good, and it's a very nice pull, and I'm actually very happy with it, especially since I can buy like an icon with the amount of cash that you can get from him. Oh, is this Kaylor Navas? Yes! That's a good pull yet again. And it's a walkout. Even though I still don't know. I I mean, I can see that with a walkout, you see the little flares and you see the fireworks in the background. But, I mean, you can see that the second he walks out. It's not like it shows up before. So I still have no idea how to tell apart who's going to be a walkout and who's not. But I guess we're going to find out at some point. But yeah, and Kunku is very nice. I'm planning on buying maybe Bajo with the amount of coins that I can get from him. I mean, it's uh, one of my favorite ever players. And I mean, I've had his card, like Bajo's card, the entire time that he's on the game on uh, PlayStation. So I sort of have to have him this year as well. That's another non rare. So yeah, he's kind of like a club legend for me. So I think I'm going to buy him. But I think I'll... Uh, let the deciding up to you guys. You should let me know who should I buy. Also, the packs that we're getting still isn't too good. I mean, we've had a couple of informs. We've had, well, not really anything else. We, oh no, we've had Trent. We've had, um, what's his name? Kaylor Navas, and another inform apparently. <laughs> so I think that's the third, and it's Palinia again. I kind of wish it was Saliba. I mean, it's kind of the same pronunciation, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, as an Arsenal fan, I would have loved the first owner, Saliba. That's actually a very good pack. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a, that's actually a very good pack. It's got an inform, it's got an 83, it's got an 80. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's also you guys, but my FIFA also crashed, like, I think three times. Is English, left wing, Grealish? Yes, let's go. That's quite nice. I don't think he sells for much, but it's still a nice card. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, is it just me or is FIFA crashing quite a bit? 
like whenever you're either opening packs or not necessarily in a game but more in the menus it just all of a sudden freezes and it just kicks you out and you need to fill in a report or just not report it but it happens quite frequently and I'm not completely sure how to fix it I mean it would be nice if uh, if EA actually like found a fix for it so let's hope it gets fixed because that's actually um, well not that nice to have every time that you play or want to open packs or something like it there's another rare Portuguese Ronaldo no <laughs> oh well it is very high it's uh, Ruben Diaz that's very nice that's a very good pool and I'm not even sure what his price range is I think it's gonna be like 50k maybe oh it's way more I don't think he sells though for that price but I mean we're gonna list him anyway let's uh, let's see if he sells right that's not what we want we're gonna quick sell it today quick sell it today quick sell it today another quick sell pack probably it's German is it just Stegen? no it's trap oh that's not too bad that's 86 I thought the uh, the fireworks and stuff and the walkout was only gonna be at like 88 plus because that's how it's been so far I think hmm it's not ah he's quite cheap actually for an 86 I think at like at some point he's gonna be like 20k when more and more SPCs come out where you need like higher squads I think he's gonna be a lot more expensive but until now I think he's uh, <laughs> gonna be less than uh, less than 10 and Benes Harris actually a former Arsenal gra uh, graduate it's a very good card if you play CM as well that's gonna be uh, a lot better um, yeah I think my game just crashed again EA fix your shit and we are back on after the crash I sincerely hope that they're gonna fix it because this is getting ridiculous I think it's been the third time now that it's crashed that's really not nice Italian Cam Pellegrini Ooh, 84 that's not bad and he's got actually very solid stats overall especially if he can play central mid uh, he's not too expensive if he plays central mid yes he does oh that's actually a very good card that's actually very usable as well not that I'm gonna use him but you never know if uh, if like a squad building challenge comes up or anything else it's uh, another inform time come on something high that's not very high he's 80 rated uh, <laughs> yeah that's not really what I want when I kind of want an inform but I guess I shouldn't complain it's another inform so should be happy with that by the way, has anyone seen the uh, new Rings of Power show yet? Because it's actually very good. I'm actually enjoying it, even though I didn't really expect too much of it. It's French. Ooh, it's almost Lamar. That's very nice. But yeah, like I said, um, is anybody else watching the Rings of Power? Because it's actually very enjoyable, especially if you uh, like like the special effects and stuff and the landscapes of. For example, New Zealand, it's, uh, it's uh, well, recommended that you watch it. Like, it's just way too good. And I mean, the storyline, so far it's been decent. Who's this? Ah, oh, Vertonghen. Didn't even know he uh, played at Anderlecht. And Alderweireld. Well, it's the former partnership linking up once more. <laughs> That's not too bad. I mean, I'm not gonna use them and they're probably gonna be sold at some point or discarded, what it, whichever. But yeah, like I was saying, is anybody else watching the Rings of Power or is it just me? Because if you're not watching it and you haven't read up on like the storyline and stuff, it's very enjoyable. If you do know like the world of Tolkien and stuff like that, it might be a little less uh, enjoyable maybe for you. I'm, I'm not sure how you're... Uh, how you're thinking about that but it's um in my eyes even though i i like tolkien and i love the world they, uh, that he's built it's very good and this is bunu that's also pretty good I'm not sure how expensive he is i can't assume he's uh, gonna be more than 5k but you never know oh that's that's not too bad i think he's got like one of, yeah he's got a price cap ah uh, i wish they didn't do that because otherwise he could have maybe sold for like a little uh, a little better currently if I list him like now he's probably not gonna sell either way 
So I'm gonna have to wait until his price drops yet again. Who's this for Tongan again? Get out of my screen! Also, I didn't really anticipate on making a video like this, so maybe next time I should do a face cam. Let's go, another inform. It's a striker. It's Jitty. He's very shitty. It's not a good card. <laughs> it's kind of terrible, actually. And he sells for like 9.7k, so... Not too good. But yeah, if, if you think I should do a face cam with these kinds of videos, especially since I do have a camera and I am planning on uh, recording some more videos also with a face cam or in real life, something, uh, something like it. Um, yeah, it's probably good to have a face cam with this as well, I guess. Ooh, is that a special card? Nah, it's one of those again. Who is it? The Lac Cruz. I mean, that's a pretty good card, actually. It's very well-rounded. But still, not what you want to see. But yeah, if you uh, want me to use a face cam, let me know, because I'm actually quite interested in uh, doing that. We don't have that many more FIFA points to go. This is... Screen ER! Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I think he sells for quite a bit as well. Look at that card. That's a good card. I think he's gonna sell for like 20k, maybe? Something around that price? Yeah. Not really, but it's, it's, I mean, it's a good card. And there's some coins in here. That's always nice. We're nearing the 9k FIFA points. And to mark it, we are gonna plan or pack left wing Italian. Chiesa! Oh, that's not too bad. I think it goes for quite a bit. That's really not too bad. I remember last time I did FIFA videos, it was quite awkward recording it because I only just started out as you Ooh, Leao. No, um, actually started out, um, I think recording all well, Minecraft videos at first, and then I branched out to also FIFA and Call of Duty. But it was very awkward recording FIFA videos for me because I always, I mean, I never really knew how to do it. I was actually planning on making like an Arsenal Invincible series that never came of it. I even had the uh, artwork done. But yeah, it, I never really understood how to commentate on it. And like when you see other YouTubers, they have like funny stuff in it, like the funny memes and shit. And I just don't know how to integrate that properly. So if anyone has like any advice, it will be well received here because then I can actually like improve my content and just make the videos a whole lot more enjoyable. I think for you and for me as well, also to edit them and just, well, in general, I guess. Also, I hate to be that guy, but I think they've done Arsenal players quite badly this game. Like, especially, like, I'm not sure if anyone's seen... Who's this? Richarlison? Yes. Richarlison, especially when I'm talking about Arsenal players, get out of my face! Anyways, I, I, I'm not sure if anybody's seen it, but like, the Arteta in-game face, it's just not Arteta. Same with Ben White, same with Gabriel, same with... Who was it? I think it's not Tierney, not Martinelli. Well, it's gonna be one of them at least, but it's it's just not good. Hey, it's tricky. That's uh, pretty good. But yeah, they, they just haven't done it justice, and also in terms of ratings. I mean, we didn't do bad last year. We actually did quite well, so I don't get why uh, we were that low rated. We're coming to the end here, guys, I think, because I'm not 100% sure <laughs> if this is gonna be it. <laughs> Updating store takes a while as well. Yeah, we're nearing the end here in terms of FIFA points as well. Ooh, I mean, speaking of Arsenal players, someone that did deserve a downgrade was Nicolas Pepe. I mean, he just wasn't up to par. He just wasn't good enough, unfortunately. I wish we, uh, like things worked out for him in the Premier League, but it just didn't. It was just too high a level. We've got less than 10 packs left. So let's go. Come on. French. Some maximum. That's actually very good. That's very good. I think he's going to be quite expensive. Normally he is at the start of the game. I think last year I packed him in like 75. Yes, let's go. That's very good. That's a lot of coins. I mean, like I said, last year I think he was like 75k when he released. Or like 100 maybe. But I still got him, so that was uh, that was very nice. 
Anyways, as the last packs here are coming to a close, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially since it's, well, I mean, the first gaming video since I think 2016, so quite a few years. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hope we actually end, like, uh, Ceballos, that's not good. Uh, let's hope we end here. Aye, he looks like a Peaky Blinder, but then like a sort of like Paella Blinder, because he's Spanish, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, especially since there's more football content coming out. Also, some very exciting things um, concerning some in-real-life players. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should get into it too much, but, you know, I'm gonna give a little spoiler away here. Anyways, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. This is the last pack, so I hope it's very good. It's a rare, at least. Brazilian. Left back, Ismaili. That is mm, not too good, let's be honest. Not sure for how much he sells. No, oh, actually, that's not too bad. Anyways, have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.